Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ben and today I'm going to be spotlighting Westeros Total War which is a mod for um, for Medieval 2 Total War set in Westeros from George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire and yeah so it's uh, essentially Total War in that universe and so you get to pick from various factions to play as uh, during the War of the Five Kings uh, so for this I'm going to be playing as Renly um, so let's just in and I'll show you from there so um, so in this mod you essentially take control of one of the factions and you have got to essentially fight to try and claim the Iron Throne so um, so for example as Renly you start off in the Stormlands and you start off allied with House Tyrell uh, as as Renly was however uh, one so yeah you've got all of your various settlements as you would in a, um, in a Total War game so I've got Renly here and I can say send Renly to go and attack Felwood just speed him up a bit of course it takes slightly longer to get there than it should but yeah so you can train your armies I've got to retrain very, uh, some soldiers but still um, you can retrain, like you would in a Total War game, you can retrain soldiers, you could train new soldiers. Uh, the majority of the soldiers have got, like, uh, well, a few of the soldiers have got new names, like this, like, uh, I think Hedge Knight, I'm pretty sure, isn't in the real thing, Septon, obviously. However, a lot of this stuff is just renamed stuff from the original game. Uh, like, for example, uh, I think as Renly, you are essentially Venice. Uh, as Stark, you're essentially Scotland. As Lannister, you're, ex you're essentially England, etc. Um, so yeah, let's just bring up the diplomacy tab. And as you can see, I'm allied with House Tyrell and enemies with Lannisters, Joffrey, Stannis, and rebels. I'm not en enemies with Starks yet, though I probably will be by the end. Because uh, with most Total War games, you do end up by the end being at war with everybody. So what's the goal of this is to do is to try and claim the Iron Throne which is somewhere around here and that's where King's Landing is it's obviously controlled by Joffrey um, yeah so I am so you play as your character so I'm Renly and they have got I think these might be custom pictures like I'm fairly sure they are but so, but right now honestly a lot of this game is just like renaming of um, of just to of total war, whereas uh, I think, like in the future, obviously this mod is still in beta, but when it is like fully released, it looks very different. Like right now, I'll just show. You, let me just show you something. Uh, up here, way up here. Keep on going. Yeah. So obviously, I can't really see much of this, but up past this is where the wall is meant to be and then it just sort of stops like there's just nothing up here there is no night's watch in this game although I've seen a video uh, which indicates there will be and or at least there might be and there might they're definitely putting in a wall and stuff um, this is the latest this patch came out uh, this uh, beta came out a long time ago like I'm pretty sure it's over a year old the full game is the full mod is due to release in September, but um, it will probably not. But like uh, apparently they're lacking staffing for uh, for it, so it's taking longer than expected. So yeah, I'm not going to bother showing you. Um, actually, I'll show you the. Uh, battle so Dale Dondarrion I can choose to accept him which I will and then this keeps coming up which is kind of annoying uh, so I can choose to do things like um, yes yeah, so you've got your family tree here so I've got Renly I'm married to Marjorie and Brienne apparently is our child and um, yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attack Felwood, I'm going to assault the walls, and as you can see, the balance of power is heavily in my favour, so I'm not going to 
bother with this attack. Like, it's just a total war game. The fighting system is essentially just total war. But what they are looking to add are things... Um, yeah, th again, this. This is just, again, renaming. So, I mean, it's very good. Like, the system is very good. However, I think one of the problems with this is that, ultimately, it's total war. So, uh, total... So, like, by the end of most Total War games, you will end up fighting everyone, which I don't think is kind of the way it works. It doesn't, it doesn't simulate the politics of A Song of Ice and Fire very well. However, it does simulate the war side of it extremely well. Um, yeah, and they've, you've got... So they've got lots of various, like, different named troops. You've got various militia and... So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take my army now and I'm going to march them north. And this is an incredibly bad idea, by the way. Marching my army straight north to try and head to King's Landing and try and claim the Iron Throne. But I can, and you can build watchtowers in your territory and forts. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot less. It's it's not very like in depth. But I think that's actually one of the strengths of it. It's quite simple. It's easy to learn. So, yeah. Um, I've just ran into an army of Tommen. Uh, yeah, that is... Like, the information in this game is... Obviously, because it's a total war game, it is fairly weak. Like, Tommen is leading an army. Like, when I say it's weak, I mean, like, it's not incredibly detailed. Like, um, you don't have lords controlling their own lands and stuff. You don't have, um, like, and pretty much characters aren't very uh, unique. They're just kind of generals, and they're just sort of there. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you a battle. And you do have ships in this game, however, ships are not that important, as Navy is extremely weak, like, um, well, I say, uh, no, Navy isn't extremely weak, so Navy is, like, you don't control it, you don't control where your ships go, why are my crossbowmen in front, just gonna move these guys to the back, um, but I mean, other than that, I've got my Spearmen at the front, my swordsmen slightly behind them, and my cavalry should be at the back. Actually, where are my cavalry? Alright, okay. So, yeah, I want to keep and cavalry on the flanks, which is generally speaking like the best thing you can do because having a lot of cavalry. Actually, actually I'm just going to put all my cavalry on one side and do a massive cavalry charge. Sounds like a terrible idea. I'm going to do it anyway. So, yeah, you can, like, group all your soldiers. I think that is one of the real strengths of having it as a um, Total War game, is that you can have, like, pretty much... Like, you can have, uh, like, large-scale battles in this. However, I would say that one of the drawbacks is that um, I was fighting at one point a battle in the Vale of Arran and uh, like it was this huge open environment like like this like imagine if you could have armies just like spanning the entire length of this but they just kind of look pretty pathetic almost just on the field nothing like like exactly you should have this hill like covered swarming with units ready to fight but that you just don't you've got like you've got next to no units on the field oops so I'm now gonna just kind of keep my guys there but have my cavalry continue to charge they've got archers at their front so I should be able to charge down those archers um yeah so you've got like your art so yeah, you, uh, the benefit of this is of course that you can see your army, like it's not just a number, it's a full on 3D modelled, you know, soldier, but at the same time, like, 
in the Game of Thrones universe, if Renly had led a cavalry charge, it wouldn't have been a charge of 150 men. It would have been a charge of, of 1,500 men and horses, you know? Like, it would have been far bigger and far more epic than this. Like, yeah, he... This charge... Like, it, if I zoom out and, like, go back... Ultimately, my army looks pretty pathetic on this massive, massive environment. Whereas, if this had been like Renly is supposed to have a hundred thousand troops, that that would have looked amazing. If you could have had a hundred thousand troops on this environment, obviously you can't because of computer restrictions. But if, but I just think it makes it kind of seem a bit weak, especially when you've got like this huge, huge environment of like of uh, to like fight in you've got like uh, the the world map is like enormous but then the place you're fighting over is very small like the armies you fight with are very small so you know the engine and the engine just can't handle the huge armies I say they're very small like I've got you end up with like a, thou a thousand versus a thousand which it's not that it's not small but I mean it could be a lot bigger like in Napoleon and uh, like Empire and um, Shogun, you've got at least two thousand. Hopefully, if you've got a like if you've got like a full army like Renly's, you, you should have at least two thousand troops. Whereas you don't, you've got one thousand, and honestly, it kind of I think it hurts the immersion factor. Now, what I've got the opportunity to do here is now charge and hopefully take out Tommen, which of course, if you can kill. An air is a pretty big deal. So now I'm going to have my guys just chase him down. Um, pretty much, actually, I'm winning this with just cavalry. Obviously, my cavalry are going to be forced back eventually. But they've been able to smash through my opponent's sense. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my infantry up and my general. Yeah. Um, just to try and... I'm, I'm actually moving him into a worse position. I'm moving him into this, like, ravine. But ravine this little like ditch but I am still like fighting pretty well also um, there's another complaint I have with this game if you remember back on the battle map on like the uh, world map uh, you saw me fighting you saw like I said I was allied with the Tyrells but it doesn't mention that like you can't see the Tyrells land you don't have control of the Tyrells units as you should in the Game of Thrones world like like Renly had direct command of Tyrell forces whereas he doesn't in this Renly has um, like he's allied with the Tyrells against the um, against Joffrey but ultimately Joffrey is still in control um, jo Joffrey still in well, uh, no Joff ultimately and um, though you don't see the alliance like it's not Obvious. If you just looked at the battle map, at the world map, you wouldn't see. Oh, right, yeah, the Tyrells are allied with the um, with Renly. You wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see Renly's troops being commanded by a Tyrell. Uh, commanded Renly uh, commanding a Tyrell force. You would see Tyrells acting completely separately from Renly. Praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Yeah, uh, so this mod, as a game, is incredibly fun. Like, it's it's really good. But there are a couple of bits in this build which are a little immersion breaking. Like, you don't really see much of of like Renly's. Like you, you still can see the remnants of it being, um, of like the total war. Like the medieval two total war, you can still see that ultimately. Um, just gonna have all my guys charge, but you, you like you may you you can still see that. But I think when the mod fully is fully released, you won't be able to see that. Like it will be, it should be completely invisible to you. And they're adding like some pretty cool features actually to uh, to the mod. Uh, like I've I've seen. The they are making I think the units more individual. They're adding voice acting I think 
they're making all of the all of the um the map they're making they're improving hopefully they'll upgrade the uh, like uh, the way alliances work although alliances have never been have never been very strong in just total war in general like there's not really i guess there's not really much they can do with the total war system considering how bad it is like don't get me wrong it's, it's a very good system but for trying to simulate the war of the five kings it's it's not terrific um Yeah, so I think I think you get the impression now. It's just it's a pretty honestly it's pretty standard. It's medieval total war in Westeros at the moment. It's not like you don't really see much difference from the mod to the actual game, but they are hopefully changing that and it but it does it's still really fun to play and it does look really good and I'm extremely excited to see where this goes in the future. So I think I'm just going to have to cut this battle off a bit short. Uh, but thank you for watching. And uh, tune in next time for a comparison a like uh, between the two mods, the Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones and Westeros Total War. Thanks for watching. Bye.